until you access your own presence, all relationships, especially in intimacy, are deeply flawed and dysfunctional to the core. For a while, it will seem perfect when you are first in love, but invariably that apparent perfection, like a childhood, gets disrupted as arguments, conflicts, dissatisfaction, and emotional or even physical violence start to occur and with increasing frequency. Most love relationships today are really love-hate relationships before long, where love can turn into savage attack, feelings of hostility, or even complete withdrawal of affection at the flick of a switch. In modern society, this is considered normal. The relationship oscillates for a while, a few months or a few years, between the polarities of so-called love and hate and unwittingly it gives you as much pleasure as it gives you pain. It is not uncommon for couples to become addicted to those cycles, as much as a gambler is to the hope of beating the odds somehow. This drama makes them feel alive out of the passion. Sooner or later, when the balance between the positive, negative polarities is lost and the negative cycles occur with increasing frequency and intensity, it will not be long before the relationship finally collapses. It may appear that if you could only eliminate the negative or destructive cycles, then all would be well and the relationship would flower beautifully, but alas, this is not possible. The positive and negatives are mutually interlinked. You cannot have one without the other. The positive already contains within itself the as yet unmanifested negative, when both are in fact different faces of the same dysfunction.